Spotlights are a versatile and important type of light. There are many different ways in which to use spotlights. First, let's look at the anatomy of a spotlight. Apart from brightness and fall off, which I've explained in my previous movie on point lights, as for point lights, we can turn on soft shadows. You will need to decide for each scene whether soft shadows are appropriate. In stage design, they may not be, while in other scenes, like this exterior detail, they may be desirable. Compare hard shadows on the left with soft shadows on the right. For spotlights, we have a special type of control which allows us to change the shape of the light beam. You can either drag the handles in the diagram provided in the object info palette, or you can enter spread and beam values manually. The further the numbers are apart, the softer the beam gets. So if I set the beam angle to 30 degrees, the light cone becomes sharper. There are also controls here for pan and tilt, or you can simply grab the end of the beam and change the light's orientation interactively. Although lid fog is available for point lights, it is most often used with spotlights to visualize the beam. When lid fog is enabled for any light for the first time, a new RenderWorks background is added to the active layer. OpenGL doesn't show volumetric lighting, so make sure you switch to RenderWorks to see the effect. This background has lit fog enabled at 50%, which is a good starting point. If you are already using a different background, simply enable lit fog for it and delete the new background. The strength of the lit fog depends on the spread of the light's beam and on its strength or brightness. You can have large values over 1000% if you are working with weak lights or wide angles. At 40 degrees spread, the effect of the lid fog becomes much less pronounced. At 50 degrees, it almost disappears altogether. Adjusting the strength of the lid fog in the RenderWorks background will help us bring it back. There is no limit here, so if no lid fog shows, just bump up the numbers until you get the result you want. While spotlights are great for stage design and general illumination, they lack interest when used to directly light a scene because they are too generic to create the lighting effects of real lights with specific reflectors and light distribution properties. Fortunately, these are available for free from most manufacturers and can be downloaded and used in a RenderWorks custom light. To create a custom light, simply choose Custom Light in the Light Type pop-up. Vectorworks will now ask for the light distribution file. I have a few favorite IES files here with an overview to pick out the right IES profile for each job. You can download the files if you click on the link below the video. I'm going for number 7 and since I know it's quite bright I'm going to use the dimmer to set it to just 8%. By the way you can hide lights in a rendered view or always using the quick pref in the view bar. That looks much more interesting now. IS files exist for different purposes. In this example we want to illuminate an exterior wall with an even wash of light. Clearly generic spots are not cut out for the job. Here is the same viewport rendered with custom lights using special IS files for exterior illumination. The result is much more natural and fits the scene. But make sure you don't use any IES file just for the sake of it. The wrong choice can also work against you in achieving good results. Spotlights are great if you need to create volumetric light effects too. Let's have a look at how this scene was set up. Again we are working with lit fog here, but with a very dim exterior spot set at a distance from the scene it illuminates. There is a directional light for the basic direct light coming through the window, but the volumetric light is created by this spotlight set to just 60 lumens. So what does the RenderWorks background look like to achieve an effect with a light as weak as this? Let's find it in the Resource Manager to have a look at its settings. In order for the lit fog to take effect, I have bumped up the fog density to 10,000%. By the way, make sure to always check Receive Shadows if you want this type of volumetric lighting. The Noisy option will give you a smoky appearance. Last but not least, Spotlights are of course used in stage design with Vectorworks Spotlight. They are integrated into lighting devices and can be used with accessories such as gobos and colour wheels. Let's turn the front row off by right clicking the activated lighting devices. Now the gobo spots are more clearly visible. You can see their characteristic pattern when the spotlight's beam hits an object. 
The beam is also fragmented by the gobo because received shadows is turned on for the lit fog in the background. You can also change the properties of a lighting device by clicking on it and choosing a different colour, accessory or wattage among other parameters in the edit dialog. The spotlight by passing its beam through the accessory will produce the gobo pattern. Let's finish with a look at a real life project and some spotlights in action. Thanks for watching and see you next week.